Hi everyone, I usually get my cash out in coin from the post office whenever I feel like I need to spend something. And I like going through the bags to see if there's anything interesting. Now, since I'm gonna sell any commemoratives that I find or miss tracks on my eBay page, I thought we might as well go through them on camera. Because I do find interesting coins. I mean, I've put one aside from a few weeks ago that I will be showing you at the end. Right, there's one bag with nothing. And at least you know what I'm getting then because, uh, there we go, there's a Charles Dickinson, not that special. At least you know what's going to be listed then. Or what's in circulation if you just like to know what coins are circulating nowadays. Now, I've already asked, and they don't normally bring coins in from the mint or anything, so all the coins that I'll be getting in these bags are circulating ones. Most of it is boring, yeah, there we go, 2007, that's the Union with Scotland I believe, there's a second one. Oh, there we go, there's a 1914 1918 World War One. That's it for that bag. So, three coins out of the first three bags, that's good going. And there's something special as well, another World War One in a very fine condition. be going to them again later to see if there's oh, there's another World War one. I'm not even gonna show that on camera. And the rest are all boring. So that's five coins out of four bags, that's not too bad. I've already all I've all got them in my own collection anyway. Seems to have a strange ring on it. I don't know if the camera picks that up. You can sort of see it from the edge, but it's a bit but it's a bit discolored. I know it's from another coin laying on top. Oh, there we go, rugby one. I've only had one of these before. And that's special enough. So all in all there we got Six coins out of five bags, not the most exciting. Now, the exciting one that I wanted to talk to you about that I had a few weeks ago. I noticed it because it stood out color wise. Now, if you can see that, it's just says two pounds 2015 on the front. Now, when we turn it around, see if the light picks that up. Elizabeth by the grace and at the bottom it says two pounds as well so what this is I looked it up that is a mix-up between the stamps with HMS Belfast so that's the plain front for 2015 technologies and the back of HMS Belfast now as far as I know I've looked into this only four or five of these have turned up and one of them sold for about 500 pounds I think it was in 2019 so I'll definitely be keeping that one for myself unless someone wants to give a very good offer on that now in other news there's a rumour going around that Royal Mint is stopping the minting of the one and two pennies now I think it's just rumour mongering because once in a while I mean, there is plenty of stock. The mint is not gonna make pennies when they don't need them. So I picked up a bag of one and two pennies, which I normally don't do, and there is something different in here. 
Well, I guess I'm making profit because there's a 5p in the bag of one pennies. I'm not gonna pick through every single one of these. Mind you, there's a few. Mm, there's a few nicer ones in there. Actually, there's a new penny 1971 that just looks like it's come out of a blister. As you can see, that's nearly mint. Actually, I'll be keeping that one aside. A few battered coins, like I said, I'm not going to go through every single one of them because they are quite boring. Anyway, to get back to the point of Royal Mint stopping to mint one and two pennies, I think it's just rumour mongering. Like I say, there will be plenty of stock. It's not the first time that they have skipped minting several denominations. For a year or two, especially during COVID. That looks like it's got red paint on it. Might have been used as a token for something at some point. There we go, nothing special in there. Except for the 5p in the one penny bag. Well, I'll let you know, I'll have a count on those and I'll tell you what was actually the value of that bag. And thank you for looking.